Apple just released iOS 17.4, the public beta, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything new in iOS 17.4 for your device. Let's get started. The biggest changes coming to iOS 17.4 is for its EU users. So everyone in the European Union will be seeing new updates to the App Store. You can finally download alternative app stores instead of being locked into just using the Apple's App Store. Alongside the App Store changes, Apple is also bringing third-party browser updates to the iOS 17.4 update in the European Union. So when its users are updated on iOS 17.4 and they open up Safari, it's going to give them the option to choose a default browser engine and they don't have to stick to safari they can use google chrome or anything of the sort that they would want to other than the european union update there's going to be some new features added into ios 17.4 for all of its users starting with the stopwatch live activity so now whenever you start up a stopwatch in the clock application you're not going to be limited to the dynamic island you can also control the stopwatch in the lock screen live activities you can control the stopwatch you can pause it you can also add new laps into it and you feel like this is something that should have been included already but it's finally coming in iOS 17.4. Next, we're getting some new emojis in iOS 17.4. There's going to be a new shaking head emoji, a lemon emoji, or is it, I think it's a lime actually, a broken chain, a phoenix, mushroom, and there's some other updates to other existing emojis as well. But these are six brand new emojis coming to iOS 17.4. iOS 17.4 is also bringing some slight updates to the Apple Music as well as the podcast application. So now when you go into Apple Music, instead of it saying listen now in the tab, it's going to say home and this is going to be the same in the podcast application so if you use podcast instead of it saying listen now it's going to start saying home on both applications next we're getting transcripts in apple's podcast application so now when you're listening to a podcast on apple's podcast you'll get this new little icon that's going to look like the apple music lyrics icon it works exactly the same when you tap on the icon and it's going to show you a transcript of that podcast that you're listening to so if you want to follow along and just read along to a podcast you now have that option to do so this is going to work with most podcasts, but there are some that this feature may be limited to. So that's a new feature coming to Apple Podcast in iOS 17.4. And finally, in iOS 17.4, Apple is allowing Siri to read messages, incoming messages, at different languages that you set it to. So you can add a language in the settings application under Siri and search under messaging with Siri. And there's a bunch of languages that you can choose between. So if you ever wanted Siri to read messages in a language, you now can do that with iOS 17.4. And that that wraps it up for iOS 17.4 beta 1. Now if there are new betas coming out with new features, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting out new videos based on new changes coming to iOS 17.4 as well as when it publicly releases. So stay tuned for that. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.